New camera problems. Get it out to take a picture. It's giving me weird issues about formatting cards and not saving data. Ah, oh, jeez. And I can't remember where in this damn menu system is the option to format my card, which I need to do before I start taking photos. Cancel. Enter. Format. There it is. Format, yes, thank God. All right, all right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to another very, very exciting episode where I go and take photos of stuff. Uh, right now, I'm down in Albany, a little town five hours south or so drive uh, from where I live. Quick little family getaway before the kids go back to school next week. And we've been here for a couple of days. Today is literally our last day, our last morning. As soon as I finish up here, we're gonna head back, pack the car and hit the road. So, uh, yeah, I've just managed to get out nice and early this morning for a quick shoot before we head back. And I've come to a place called the Salmon Holes, which is this uh, it's a beautiful beach. Look, all of the beaches down here are beautiful, let's be honest. And uh, yeah, I've been down here a couple of times, never taken photos here before. So I thought I'd you know, try somewhere a little bit new. There was a tiny little bit of light starting to show up in the clouds earlier. Uh, still not quite sunrise yet. But uh, I don't know, as the minutes go by, I'm sort of losing faith that we'll get much more happening up in the sky. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. If you know which lens you're gonna be shooting with, put the right filter rings on before you get going and then you don't have to do it on the beach. Is this a f***ing joke? Isn't that 72? I thought it was 72. I could have sworn it was 72. And another tip, make sure your filters and your adapter rings actually fit before you try to use them. So, no filters this morning. You know when you get that feeling that the morning's gonna turn into a bust before you've even started? Yeah, well, that's what I'm feeling right now. So no filters, or not being able to put filters on lenses means gotta get a little creative. So I think this is going to work. I'll just, I'll just hold it on the front and away I go. I feel like I've had a little bit of time to collect my thoughts now. I always feel like this. In the morning, I, I think I'm here in plenty of time, which I usually am, but then you get down here and you've got to figure things out, find a spot, try and catch the light if there is any light. Uh, anyway, take a breath. So I've got one shot in the bag. I don't think it's, look, it's, it's, a, nice little, it's a nice little scene here. There's this sort of rocky shelf, some, some quite calm water leading out to some uh, deep water out the back and then you've got the headland out the back as well. As I didn't hope, but as I suspected, the light didn't really happen. It's a tiny, 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 tiny little bit of colour in the sky, but not, not really much at all. But that's just the way it goes. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a nice spot. I'm just going to keep having a little look around and see if there's anything else I can find. quite like this area. Lots of rocks around here that can work as some foreground interest. So I might just, just have a bit more of a wander and, uh, and see what's good. All right, I think I've found another shot here. This one's kind of nice. I've taken that little bit of extra time just to, uh, just to try and find a shot. And as I speak, there's a tiny little bit of light uh, color happening up in the clouds. So I've just got some nice sort of almost circular shaped 
rocks in the foreground and just leading sort of straight out to this headland and there's some other rocks sort of dotted around in the foreground and the midground here. Tried my best to sort of simplify it a little bit, focusing on these rocks in the foreground. Uh, so I'm going to see how that goes. As long as... Whoa. Did you see that move? The water's coming in. I'm going to take this shot. This has turned out all right, hasn't it? A few nice sunbeams coming through. The clouds didn't really light up, but this is a bonus because I didn't think anything was going to happen, to be honest. So I'll take this, yeah, yeah, I'll take this. So the other thing that you may or may not have noticed is uh, I've got a new camera to play with. So that's kind of nice. Uh, after many, 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 many years of shooting with a, uh, a Nikon D7200, uh, which has done me very, very, very well, I must admit, over the years. Um, I've been saving up my pennies for God knows how long, and I've uh, splashed out on a Sony. Uh, I've gone for the A7R3, and this, this morning, this is the first sort of proper outing that I've had with it, so hence the, you know, uncertainty about where things are and how things work and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm, sort of, I'm finding my way around it though. Uh, I may or may not do a video sort of focusing on the camera itself, I don't know. Does anyone actually want to watch those things from people like me? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, I might do that. The main thing I'm getting used to actually has nothing to do with the camera itself but my selection of lenses. So at the moment I only have one lens for it. I've gone for the Tamron 28-75. to um, because I was on the Nikon crop sensor before, it's not just the camera body that I'm changing, it's everything. So new camera, new lenses, new batteries, uh, new memory cards, if I actually want to make the most of what my new camera can do. So yeah, this is a, you know, a bit of an investment that I'm just going to be chipping away at over time and gradually I'll sort of build out my, um, you know, build out my kit and get some more lenses and get what I need to get. So, yeah, there we go. Always, uh, always fun playing with some new technology. All right, I think that might do it for this morning. I've, I feel like I say this every single time, but I'm not entirely sure how this went this morning. New place, new camera, new lenses, new everything. Um, same me, maybe I need to change. Anyway, look, even if or even when the photos don't turn out, it's still great coming out here nice and early. I'm getting down to these beaches here. So, uh, so yeah, I think, to be honest, I think the main challenge uh, other than the little technical issues I had which you know you can sort of overcome um, I think the main challenge I had was just thinking a little bit differently because uh, I don't have a nice wide or ultra wide angle lens for my camera yet uh, I had to sort of think a little differently normally I would be down here right in amongst the rocks with a with an ultra wide lens and just get some of these things really prominent in the foreground but um, 28 millimeters is the widest that I can go at the moment so that just sort of changed things up a little bit uh, but yeah that's all right just something else to get used to that'll do me thank you very much for watching uh, yeah until next time I'll see you later bye